Hello guys, welcome back. Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisperer. Today, I'll be showing you how to make an origami scooter. A pretty cool looking one, too. The one I made that post a long time ago that I meant to make. Again, I've been not a lot going on lately, and I'm so sorry I couldn't make it. I can't apologize enough, but thank you for being patient. So, I'll be using a 10 inch, I think. She did duo set, double sided extra large from origamishop.com. Green and white. And you can choose whatever paper you want, as long as it's not ridiculously thin, because that will not go well. But the thicker the better, but not ridiculously thick, like wet folding style, that won't be good either, I'll be honest. So we're going to start by making, um, we're going to start by making a 16 by 16 grid, whatever method you like. I'll be using my own method of just folding it in half. It's fastest, and it doesn't make that much of a difference in quality, so it works for me. Side up, and you start making a mountain fold on the edge. And on an edge next to it. And then the next edge, it makes me be kind of a I don't know how to describe it. A paint sink, I guess. A box paint pen. And then I don't know where it was for this stuff, so please cut me out if you want. One more side. It is making that square thing. Turn it into a pleat a box. You know what I mean, I think. A box pleating. That makes sense. I guess. Again, feel free to correct me in the comments if you want to, and you think it would make a lot more sense for other viewers. Okay. So we have a little thing like this. Let me zoom out a bit, actually. And then, what we're going to do is going to fold a pleat again, so this is a mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold. We're going to repeat that all the way around. Feel free to pass away the video, I already know what I'm doing. Is you're gonna redo that again until you have four flaps. Just four flaps, no middle space. I really like paper. I never tried it before. One more layer. I think there is five or six layers. I can't remember. Maybe more. Yeah, there's four layers. Yeah, there's 16. Yeah. Because why not? And we have this little shape. Ta da! Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit. Oh, sorry. I cannot tell. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the wheels now. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of just swivel it a bit. So you see how this kind of moves a bit, we're going to quickly swivel that 
all the way around. So, the first thing we're going to do is fold this part in half. One second. All right. Okay, I remember now. Sorry. Um, so we're gonna fold this part um into the the first wheel, which is pretty simple actually. We just have to um, you just gotta be smart or careful, I should say. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six squares. On the sixth square, we're gonna create gravity here on that flap whatever whatever flap is on whatever flap you want doesn't really matter honestly you can always turn it over and flip it around it's going to look like this and what we're going to do we're, we're going to bring this flap up here too we'll add that back later so it's going to be for ease of use or ease of holding you know what I mean going to look something like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up. So, you see how it creates like this thing, sorry, this thing on the back. Uh, okay, this thing on the back. We're going to fold it up and pinch. That should keep it together for now. So, you have a thin enough paper. That's why I said you don't want to. If you also don't want to, then it'll be harder to shape. So, now, you're going to work. Now, we're going to work on the wheel. The first wheel, I should say. So, at about um, a 45 degree angle, you're going to create a reverse fold. And that will reverse the angle. Kind of like a reverse. Kind of like makes sense. Actually, a 22.5 degree angle. Then you can add as much angles as you want. It really depends on how realistic you want the wheel to look and how hard you want to work. I'll be using like four of them or in shape more later. Or five, I guess. So every time you make a reverse fold, you're going to be making it closer and closer to curling in on itself. And when you're done, it's pretty simple what you do. You're just flatten a bit more. We can always shape it later. We're not working on that right now, though. And we're going to tuck you. Sorry, not you. We're going to tuck the flap inside the first reverse fold. And that is going to make it hopefully stay in well enough. If not, I'll, fi I'll figure out an alternative. So that is our first wheel. Just as satisfying as it looks. Done. And we're going to tuck that underneath. So think about it. So you see, so what we're going to do you see how this kind of creates like a flat part? Sorry, I cannot show the camera correctly. Fix that. So you see how this creates like a flat part and doesn't look as realistic out here? We're going to tuck it underneath. Just by being like kind of, a kind of fold. Simple fold. And that's going to bring us to our first part. Again, all of these are pure origami. So like no glue, no nothing. So unlike some people's bikes, this is getting quite different. At least free, like no glue shaping as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the back wheel, which is all the way back over here. So we're gonna work on that same idea. This time we're gonna a few less squares actually. So we have we're gonna count actually yeah sorry the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need too big of a scooter. So we're actually going to count five this time. On the fifth square, we're going to do the same idea, so repeating it. We create that rabbit ear. We create that. We kind of tuck it under. Feel free to rewind the video if you don't understand what I'm doing. Basically, we kind of latch it on in on itself. Kind of like this, if you know what I mean. It's not an easy model, it will warn you. I probably should say it in the beginning, but we'll figure it out. If you have if you're a very big beginner, or got me highly not recommended. Very tricky. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another wheel. This time with a few less, but still, it's gonna be a bit more. So we're gonna with a few less because you only have five. 
folds, sorry, five squares. Think of it as like a couple, uh, think of it as like a, a, a one, uh, I guess how, I don't know how I'm explain this. Um, think of it as one less um, reverse fold than there are squares he counted. Because for a thinner scooter, you have, um, or a smaller scooter, you can put it on, um, you can put it instead on, um, with more squares and you'll have more realistic looking wheels, but again, that's not what we're going for right now. I'm gonna put this. And now this one's a little different actually. We're gonna put it inside here actually, which is a little different, but it works, you know? And feel free to shape the wheels now if you want. I like shaping them now as you, as they go basically. It makes things look a lot better. Because don't worry about like things getting in the way. I think. This is not going to work, we'll just tuck it under somewhere else. No it's like back right now, we'll turn to a scooter, I promise. Now what we're gonna do, is we're on the handlebar. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually kind of pull it apart. This front one, so the front wheel is the one that's kind of sticking up, and back wheel, and we're gonna push this front one into here. So that's gonna kind of create or shape it, I guess, of the of the scooter. Start creating the shape of our scooter. You shape the bit, whatever you want to do. And it's all up to you. You're making the scooter, not me. I'm not gonna control you. So do whatever you want. Make it how, make it your own. Again, this wheel doesn't seem to want to stay, so I'll fix that later. But for now, we'll just tuck it in here. That works. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up. Here. So, let me explain. Basically, you see where the flesh, the side of the last corner is, where we did that plate. We're going to create a non fold each direction from it. And we're going to kind of squash it in a sense, so that, so think about it, and we're going to create that half plate. We're just gonna quickly like do a few pleats also here. Now this is where the real shaping comes in. Because handlebar is not easy to make. Again, like I said, this is not an easy model. It's not a simple model. It's definitely one of my easier ones for me though, because I've made a lot of hard ones. I know. where the fun shaping comes in. In order to use paper stuff away at first it wasn't really cheap, but you know. You gotta use it at some point, right? Yeah, I still have my work on me though from two years ago, so I'm gonna sit in my drawer, so we'll figure it out. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. I might have an idea for something. Just another thing you do is you make some other wheels if you want to tuck it. Tuck. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Stack it on second thought. What you can do, I forgot this from my first scooter, is you're actually gonna, um, for wheels, instead of making a big wheel, you're gonna kind of pull it together. So tuck it on all on top of the, like, the place you put your feet, like the bar, and tuck it around. That makes things a lot easier looking and better looking as well. Easier and better looking. Sounds like a win win to me. Cool. Same thing on the other one.
Okay. So sorry if I didn't show it correctly. I'll try my best. But basically, you're gonna take that wheel, slap, bring it all the way around, and tuck it underneath. You can start shaping the wheels again if you want to, if you want to fix it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just whatever matters to you. Whatever thing you think is good enough. And remember, even if you don't think it's good enough in the moment, it'll always be good enough when you finish it. If you take a big step, one thing I learned from a lot of master artists, not just orgonists, is if you leave it for some time and come back to it, it'll, it'll look a lot better. Trust me, I know from experience, I've been doing origami for nearly nine years. I can tell you, it helps. Turn on is five. I'm about to turn fourteen, so yeah. So you know you can trust me on this stuff. And our last step is to add the back part. You can already see it coming together, right? Because the sheet handlebars a bit better, and not just the bar that the handles go on and twist it a bit. That would look cool. I can again like make it your own, feel free to add a few flaps if you want to make it into a blank, like whatever works. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I finish this up is I'm going to take, some, is I'm actually going to do something I kind of think I made up, but it's a little trick I like to use. We're going to open this part up, so we're going to take the last flap, open it up, and put a little further back than you want to, that we have some space. Kind of create like a crimp, I guess. And tucking it back underneath and then putting it back. That will make the flap shorter without need to worry about like some complicated stuff to make it shorter. A little technique I use. We're gonna really shape that together. One second recording! Okay. Super sorry about that. Um basically um now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um I'm gonna tuck this in, in again again. It's gonna fall apart unfortunately. Fall out a lot, sorry, unfortunately, but like there's only so much you can do about it. Which was easier. But like there's not many tucking methods with this paper this smooth. I'm sure if you have with thicker, like better papers than like some cheap com kind of like stuff, then I'm sure it'll work better. You. We'll make you a bit cooler looking. We're gonna quickly tuck you on top, and just like that, we're almost done. We should have to kind of connect the handlebar to the bottom a bit more. You know, if it's thick, you gotta push really hard, <laughs> especially if it's thick. You know what I mean? And the last step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the extra, uh, the extra full part of the flap and tuck it inside the pocket we just made. And I'm just going to shape it a little bit more, just make it look a bit more cool, a bit more realistic. Again, like, we're not, but again, I, I, or obviously like a realism art, we're just looking for like, just, you know, cool patterns, right? Okay, it's starting to rip, okay. I think we'll end it there. Thank you for watching. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I get it. We'll stop. We'll stop. Thank you, Bieber. We're not ripping that much. Could we tuck you? Uh, I think that's good. And just like that, our origami scooter with a turning handlebar is done. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Here's a closer up view. It's a nice, secure wheel. So I can change that a bit more. And just in case you do want to make it stand, you can actually shape the bottom of the wheel so it does so, like it did with my original model. Ta-da!
stands. Here, I'll show you the webcam. It really does stand. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.